Hi everyone, my name is Andrzej and in this video I am going to talk about the NAP and Vega and how you can start learning them. Vega is a visualization grammar or a language that can be used to create highly customized and interactive data visualizations and uh, the NAP is a certified custom visual for Power BI that can be used to embed your Vega visualizations into Power BI report. Let me start from some examples for inspiration. What you can see on the screen is a visualization created using Vega. It's a single JSON file with uh, the code that encodes everything, the flowers for this flower cartogram and uh, the legend that explains all of the details of this uh, custom visual to display the, dat the data using Flower. Everything from the titles to footnotes on this uh, visualization is uh, encoded using a single JSON file. Another example is a HR cross-functional mobility dashboard, which is highly interactive with cross-filtering, cross-highlighting, and it has been created uh, using a single instance of the NAP custom visual in Power BI with a single JSON file embedded. All interactions between the different custom charts uh, are defined in this JSON. You know, it can be frustrating to edit uh, interactions between uh, Core Power BI visuals when we have many of them on a page. And in case of the NAP and Vega, it's just a single visual. It's good for performance, it's good, it's good for maintenance, and uh, it allows you to create a really customized and interactive visualization with all visualization elements link it one to another with very advanced interactivity, cross highlighting, cross filtering, and so on. Another example is this uh, climate change uh, visualization, which includes four different uh, DNAP uh, custom visuals. It's uh, the same data, just on different levels of aggregation, annually data, weekly data, and two line charts for daily data. You won't be able to reproduce it using Core Power BI visuals, not just because uh, this visualization is uh, not available in Core visuals, but even line chart that you see in this visualization includes uh, more than 10,000 of data points or 42 lines and uh, 365 uh, points uh, per each line. So Core Visual in Power BI just uh, won't work with so many data points. And also you will have problems to format it uh, like it formatted here. And in Vega, you just can write whatever formula you want to define what colors should be applied to what elements of your visualization. And uh, this is another way to display the same data, a combination of line and area visual elements in the same chart. Or you can create population pyramid like this, which includes even more lines into a single visual. Or you can create custom visualization like this. Or you can encode some music into colors and circles to make something beautiful. Or you can reproduce the Florence Nightingale's chart and create a modern version of this chart that is connected to a data file. By the way, it was a very interesting project and I found some interesting details about the original chart when I tried to reproduce it. So how you can start learning the NAP and Vega to be able to create visualization like I just showed you? First of all, visit the NAP website. I will add all the required links into the description 
of this video. On the DNAP website, you will find all information required to understand how to connect uh, your DNAP visual to Power BI data. You will find information how to enable cross filtering, how to enable cross highlighting between your DNAP visual and other visuals on the page. But as I have already shown you, you can make the entire dashboard using a single DNAP uh, visual. So you won't even need this cross filtering and cross highlighting with external visuals. And uh, the most useful links here are community and resources and support. This is what will help you to learn. Community and resources include links to websites of great people that created a lot of amazing examples using Vega, Vega Lite, and the NAP. Gary Colosco, this Power BI guy, myself. There are some videos. Power BI guy has a YouTube channel with a lot of videos about Vega Lite. I don't work with Vega Lite, I work with Vega. So you will be able to learn some Vega from me, but for Vega Lite, I recommend you to visit this page and just follow the links and learn from other people. What was very useful for me is just Vega website, Vega section of this website, not Vega Lite, because again, I work with Vega. Vega Lite is uh, syntax sugar for Vega. It allows you to write less code to get almost the same result, but uh, Vega is fully functional version and Vega Lite is a bit limited when it's about super complex visualization with a lot of uh, interactivity and animation and so on. I prefer Vega because I just choose it, the nap, because I needed more control over the details of my visualizations and Power BI Core and other custom visuals provide. So if I need more control, I prefer uh, Vega because it gives me full control. And Vega Lite is a little bit limited or based on uh, default uh, assumptions, what will be displayed, what color will be used. You can then override these default assumptions, but uh, I want full control from the beginning about every element of my chart. So I use Vega. Again, go to the Vega website or Vega Lite website, open the example section, you will find a lot of examples, you can open every example, you will see Vega code of this example, you can open this code in Vega online editor, and uh, look at the code and try to understand how it works. You can start from changing some uh, values, like you see width and height, you can change it and you see it's now a bigger visualization and you will start understanding what these uh, properties mean. So you can see that I hover cursor over the bar, it becomes red and you can see hover fill value red, you can change it, make it yellow. So you will start from changing some values, colors, uh, sizes, font sizes, and so on. And then you can open uh, Vega documentation section to start uh, reading about uh, different properties in your Vega specification, especially about marks properties. Marks are uh, visual elements of your visualization, the basic elements uh, that you can use to create uh, your visualization like ergs, areas, images, lines, rectangles, and so on. So just open, for example, rectangle mark description, and you will find all properties of the rectangle description. For example, 
There is an example here, and you see there is corner radius property, which makes rounded corners of the rectangle until it becomes a circle. You can just copy this property into this example. You see Mark's definition. There is x, y position, there is width, there is y2 position, but there is no anything about round corners. But you can add it. Corner radius, value will be 5 or 10 or 50. This is how you will start uh, learning Vega and how you will start understanding how your JSON code affects your visualization. Also, you can visit my GitHub repository. The link also will be in the description of this video with a lot of examples of different visualizations, including those that I have already displayed to you, like population pyramid music encoded into the visualization, Florence Nightingale's chart. There is also my uh, floral cartogram here and a lot of other different uh, examples. Uh, some of them more simple, some of them really advanced with a lot of uh, interactivity, animation and uh, other features that Vega provides you. And then if you will have any questions, if you will have some issues with your Vega or Vega Lite visualizations or, um, or with embedding them into the NAP uh, visual in Power BI, go to the DNAP website into the support section. It's a new initiative and I have already joined it. Here you will find a list of people who are willing to help the links under the photos can be used to contact us and uh, you can ask your questions about the issues you have with Vega, Vega Lite or the NAP and, and we will gladly help you to solve these uh, problems. I use GitHub for this purpose. So feel free to join and Start creating issues here if you have a problem that you wasn't able to find a solution anywhere. Just ask a question and I will try to help you. I will post more videos about Vega and the NAP on my channel with more detailed explanations of some examples I have created using Vega.